Welcome to the DEF CAM. The emergence of the ROS drone detection radar from Global Industrial Defense Solutions is a quiet but significant event in Pakistan's defense landscape. It represents a move beyond simply acquiring technology to a deeper, more sustainable practice of creating it. This system is not just a tool. It is the physical result of a long-term commitment to understanding a specific and pervasive threat and then building a precise solution from the ground up. In an era where security challenges are increasingly defined by asymmetric and accessible technologies, the ability to independently develop such sophisticated sensors is a strategic imperative. ROST is a clear indicator that this imperative is being met with focus and technical competence. The entire design philosophy of the ROST is a response to a unique set of physical and tactical problems posed by small, unmanned aerial systems. The selection of the Kuban frequency range is the foundational decision that dictates its performance. This choice is a careful balancing act in radar science. Lower frequency bands, like S-band or L-band, are excellent for detecting large aircraft at long distances because their longer wavelengths travel well through the atmosphere. However, these same long wavelengths are too coarse to effectively resolve a small plastic or carbon fiber drone which might only return a signal comparable to a bird. On the other end of the spectrum, millimeter wave radars offer incredible resolution but are easily absorbed and scattered by rain, fog, and even humidity, making them unreliable for persistent outdoor surveillance. The Kuban sits optimally between these extremes. Its shorter wavelength provides the fine resolution needed to distinguish the physical structure of a small drone while still maintaining enough energy to see through moderate weather conditions, ensuring the system remains effective when it is needed most. This technical rationale is further refined by the system's reported use of a one-dimensional active electronically scanned array architecture. This is a sophisticated approach that moves beyond traditional mechanically rotated radars. In a one-dimensional ASA, the beam is steered electronically in one plane, likely elevation while the entire antenna assembly rotates mechanically to provide 360-degree coverage in azimuth. This hybrid approach offers a significant advantage. The electronic steering allows for incredibly fast updates in the elevation plane, enabling the radar to rapidly track a drone as it climbs, dives, or hovers. This agility is critical for following the unpredictable flight paths of modern unmanned aerial vehicles. This design also reflects a pragmatic engineering choice, leveraging the benefits of electronic scanning while managing the immense cost and complexity of a full two-dimensional array, making the technology viable for indigenous production and widespread deployment. The real intelligence of the system, however, lies in its signal processing. The raw data collected by the antenna is just the beginning. The raw use of digital beam forming and pulse Doppler processing is what transforms this data into a reliable track. Digital beamforming allows the system to create multiple, highly focused receive beams simultaneously. In a cluttered environment near a city or in rough terrain, this capability is invaluable. The processor can actively shape these beams to null out interference from fixed structures like buildings and cell towers and to suppress attempts at electronic jamming. This leaves a cleaner signal from which to extract the target's information. The pulse Doppler principle is what allows the radar to see a small drone against the massive, confusing background of the ground, a phenomenon known as ground clutter. A simple radar would be overwhelmed, seeing the drone as just another speck in a chaotic return. The pulse Doppler radar, however, is a sensitive motion detector. It measures the minute change in frequency of the returning radar wave caused by the target's movement towards or away from the radar. Because the ground and buildings are stationary, they produce no Doppler shift and can be electronically filtered out. Anything that is moving, even a slow-moving drone, reveals itself through this frequency shift. This is the key to detecting low-flying threats. Perhaps the most advanced aspect of the system is its ability to not just detect, but to classify a target. This is where microdoppler analysis comes into play. The rotating blades of a drone's propellers impose a unique, high-frequency modulation onto the main Doppler signal. This micro-Doppler signature is a distinctive fingerprint, completely different from the flapping wings of a bird or the smooth profile of a larger aircraft. By analyzing these subtle frequency modulations with advanced algorithms, 
the ROS can confidently distinguish a hostile drone from a benign bird, drastically reducing false alarms and providing operators with a high degree of confidence in the track. This requires substantial real-time computational power to execute complex algorithms that can isolate and interpret these fleeting signatures amidst the noise. The value of ROST is fully realized when it is integrated into a broader counter-unmanned aerial system architecture. It is designed to be the primary sensor, the keen eye that provides the initial detection and precise tracking. This data can then be seamlessly passed to other systems. For instance, the track can be used to cue an electro-optical or infrared camera, which provides a visual confirmation for the operator. It can also be fed to an electronic warfare system like the indigenously developed Safra jamming gun, which can then disrupt the drone's command and control links. This seamless integration from detection to identification to neutralization forms a complete kill chain, a capability that is now being built from within our own industrial base. The strategic implications of this are profound. For national defense, it means we can now deploy a sophisticated, layered defense against drone threats to protect our critical infrastructure military bases, and borders without being dependent on foreign supply chains. It provides a customizable and scalable solution that can be adapted to specific terrain and threat profiles. For our defense industry, the development of ROST is an investment in human capital and technical infrastructure. The knowledge gained in mastering advanced areas like AESA design, digital beam forming, and micro-Doppler classification creates a foundation upon which even more complex future systems can be built. It is a clear demonstration that Pakistan is not just a consumer of defense technology, but an emerging creator capable of producing solutions that meet the demanding challenges of modern security. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.